attached to it. So I have decided to just add some white wax. I'm liking the black lantern, especially with this frosted glass. So I'm just going to do some white wax. And that'll be a very simple um, up cycle. So I have, hold on, that's the wrong wax. Let me grab my other where is it? Here it is. I have my clear wax in the Waverly. So I'm going to do some of that. Mom. Hold on, baby. Um, and I'm just going to add a little bit of the plaster. It's like a country white, like a creamy white color in the Waverly also and it's just going to be a dab into that wax and let me grab me a paper towel okay I got it I'm just going to use a regular paper towel and I wet it some and I'm going to use it to apply my white wax let me stir up my paint into my wax a little bit. I didn't tape it up or anything. That would have been really time consuming. And the chalk paint wipes off really easily. So if I make some boo-boos and get some paint or wax on the glass part, it'll be okay. I'll be able to wipe it right off. So I would rather do that than take the time to tape it up. I'm not, I hardly ever tape something up. So, so I'm just going to go and apply some with my napkin. And I want to apply a good bit with wax. You can go as heavy or as light as you want. And if you end up, go ahead and say, hey, Allie. Hello. Oops, don't get your hair in there. All right, that's good. But if you, um, if you get done and you're like, mm, it's just a little too much for my liking, you can always... Um, rub some back off. Okay, so now I'm going to just rub on right here. Let me do all of these and then I'll do the bottom. I'll go back around and do the bottom. Hey, Mama. Mama, every time I smell coffee, it, it makes me, um, it makes me, um, um, do something. When you smell coffee, do you like the way it smells or you don't like the way it smells? Mm -mm. You don't? I don't like it. <laughs> Wait, Allie, you're going to get your hair in that paint right there. That is that. Okay. Let me do this one. All right. Now I'm going to go and do the bottom. And when this dries, I may have to go back and do some more. I just, I'm not really sure. I'm just kind of. Going with the flow on this. Mom, look. Wait, baby. 
but that's the thing. You can always just go back, and if you're not real satisfied with it, you can just go back and do something different. Mom, look. Okay, now I'm going to sit it right here. My hand kind of smushed it some. And we'll just kind of go back over. And it's already starting to dry on there nicely. Okay, yeah. And I'm loving how it's looking so far. Okay, so we got that. I'm going to do the other one. We'll let them dry really well, and then we'll come back and see how they look. paintbrush and my Waverly chalk paint in the color plaster. Let's see. Yes, that is correct. And I did add some baking soda to give it um, some texture and just to help that paint adhere to this surface. Um, but I ended up just going, it was a small um, stencil brush that I went and did this part, part of the lantern and down here at the bottom and just a regular brush up here at the top but I did end up going and just doing full coverage over the entire lantern now I'm ready to antique wax this piece product our lantern after I antique waxed it I took a dry paper towel and I stressed it distressed it just a little you can see where some of the black popped back through when I did that technique there's the bottom and the sides I love how this turned out now I'm going to get them fixed up and displayed for some pictures and a quick video to show you how beautiful these would be to add to your decor. Thanks for watching guys.
So now we're going to decorate these up. I just wanted to um, do a video to show you how I decorated them. So there's several ways you can do it and you'll see in the pictures um, the other ways that I did it and the little short videos. But this is the way I wanted to do the video on. Um, these are just little baskets. I thrifted these for 99 cent each. They're matching, same size and everything. So I'm just gonna do one. I, um, I have my candle here. They're just the white candles. They have a switch on the inside. So I just turn my candle on. Wait, baby. All right. Okay. And I just put that right in the middle. Oh, yeah. Then I put my lantern right over that. Just like that. That is so cute. I just love it. And then to add a little extra, I have these little tassels. I can make these as well, and I'm actually going to um, get some made up and do um, a little post on those and have them listed in my spring 2023 album as well. So just kind of do that and then take some eucalyptus greenery and just kind of wrap around. Look at that. Is that not the cutest little thing? I'm just so excited how these turned out. And really quick, I'm just slide that over. Okay, we'll do the other one really quick. Let's turn that on. Okay, and then, and I'm only wrapping my greenery in the front, just so you can see, these pieces were pre-cut, so, I mean, if, you know, you were getting this for a centerpiece, a table, um, or anything like that, where you could see all sides around, then, obviously, you know, you would want your greenery to go all the way around just like that but i had pre-cut these so that's why it was just in the front like that but i think that is just too cute and i hope that you guys enjoyed making these thrift flips as much as i did these were a lot of fun so now i'm definitely keeping my eye out in the thrift store each week for light fixtures because I know exactly what I can do with them now. I think they just made the cutest lanterns, the cutest centerpieces for inside your home. And being this is chalk paint, these will not, these will not be safe for outdoors. Chalk paint is not safe for outdoors. Maybe the next ones I can use regular um, latex paint where they would be safe for outdoors to use on your doorsteps or your porches or things like that. But these, I will have it listed, are not safe for outdoors. But anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. Thanks so much for making these with me. I had a lot of fun with these. I hope that you will like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Help me out with that. Um, go over to my Facebook page, The Cutest Little Thing. Check that out. Check out my Spring 2023 album. I can't talk today. Where I have these items will be listed as well as my other items that I have um, flipped and upcycled, done projects, different crafts. All of that will be listed over on my Facebook page. I hope that you will check that out. And I will see you all next time.